And we are back in the Del Marva Life Kitchen with Tide and Time food blogger Laura Davis. And so we already made those divine brownies, and now it's time to wash them down. Okay, to do that, here's what we're doing we're making blood orange margaritas with and without alcohol. Okay, so blood orange margarita. What is up with this orange? It is a blood orange. They call them Moro oranges. They okay. have a reddish flesh. It's a very intense orange flavor, mm -hmm. um, sweet, a lot more. Uh, a lot more orange than orange. A lot more robust than like a navel orange. More so robust. You can, they're in okay. season right now. It's the best time of year for citrus crushes are so popular. Am I just squeezing um, in? here in our beaches? Yep. Just go ahead and start juicing. Start and juicing. Uh, we have also heard that uh, next Wednesday, the twenty second, is National Margarita indeed, Day. So indeed, indeed. So I figured it was the perfect time. We could hit two birds with one stone, hitting a seasonal citrus as well. Right. As in, you know, margaritas are great to switch up the flavor with. It's so easy. You know, depending on. What's in season? Strawberry margaritas are right. delicious, or pomegranate. I do that a lot. And, and it's nice the to use the fresh rather than buy a regular. Oh, mix. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's another thing. I make my own mix all the time. That like neon green stuff that comes in a bottle. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Basically, a, a cup of sugar and a cup of water and a cup of fresh lime juice, and you have your own margarita mixer. Or you could also use it for something like daiquiris or a sweet and sour mix. It's um, it's really great, even to. To, I'll mix it with a little water over ice. It's it, like a, a and, limeade mixture, right. essentially, is what it is. So, and, um, and, and we're going to be making a mocktail, too, so it doesn't necessarily have to have alcohol. Absolutely in. not. It's That's what I was saying. It's yeah. very refreshing and light. And especially when you um, control how much soda water you add, those flavored um, waters that are just sparkling and don't have any sugar or anything in them, I love them because mm -hmm. they really add um, flavor and a little bit of pop on the tongue without adding a ton of calories. Um, right. And junk that you don't need. Okay, so we got uh, all this stuff in there. Oranges, right? got some more. And lime a little, juice. a little pulp is okay in there, right? Oh yeah, okay. I, I love pulp. Whenever I buy orange juice. All right. all right, what else goes in here? You got some limes, right? right. We're just got yeah. the limes, got the orange. Okay. Got the coconut. Oh, and that's something else. And um, here's some agave syrup. Right. Agave is what they make tequila out of, so it, I figure it's a nice little. Uh, How much? A nice, just a about a quarter cup. Really? Just gives it a nice sweetness. That's good. Keeping track of how much a quarter cup was there? Because yeah. I wasn't. It was a <laughs> generous quarter cup. <laughs> Give it a okay. little judge. And then go ahead and pour that um, that soda water in there. So it's just regular? Just flavored sparkling water. water. You could use tonic it? water. Or, yeah, let's go ahead and okay. make it bubbly. And look at how pretty it is, too. It is Isn't that pretty. color amazing? Probably that makes me it. think of summer. It is. And it, it's never it too does. early to well, start And I feel like it's, it's I, I can see the light already. So with the warm days we've had, it's uh So how do we make the mocktail? You pour it. it. You're that, pour is it. it. that is it. That is it. That is the mocktail. Done. Right there. Good to go. Totally easy. Put our decorative orange on there and everything. I love that. And if you didn't have the agave, you could do a simple <laughs> syrup, you know, just water. So now what? And then so now, a splash, to make it a cocktail a proper, we're just going to add probably about an ounce of two. Well, these glasses are small, so let's oh. just do a splash. We'll but, just do a splash. Um, you can also do it up in, in big batches, too. It's good for parties and things mm -hmm. like that. Okay. And a little splash of triple sec. Okay. A little orange liqueur. If you're feeling fancy, you could use Grand Marnier. That sounds nice. Okay. All right, you finish that up. I'm going to let you know. To get these recipes, all you have to do is send a self address stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard in Salisbury, 21801, or go to demarvalife.com, or just give us a call at 443 880 9116. Laura, I feel bad because you don't have Cheers. one. Cheers! It's okay. This is can, awesome. I'm heading back to Shinkatig. So. Mocktail cocktail. Oh, so there you go. Huh? Delicious. Delicious. Now I need my brownie back. <laughs> Too bad it's on my end of the table.